I'm Paula and I'm the owner of the Dog Breeder Store. This is Twinkle. She's uh, a part of our breeding program. She's a mature Boston Terrier and she was bred about 33 days ago. She ovulated about 35 days ago and we've just determined that she is pregnant based on our at-home pregnancy test that we sell in the Dog Breeder Store. This does not require a blood draw or a trip to the vet, but we did determine based on a tiny drop of blood that we got from her lip that she is pregnant. But in case you don't have this test, I do wanna show you, give you some ideas about how you can tell if your dog is pregnant or not. Because back in the day, we didn't have these tests, and so we had to use our senses. So one of the things that you would know about this dog if you lived with her is that her nipples are enlarged. And even though she doesn't really show other signs of being pregnant, her loin is still as small as it was before. She, her nipples were pretty much non-existent before she was bred. The other thing that we always look for as breeders is we would look to see if their vulva, which is this little spot here in the back right here, was remaining enlarged after they were bred. It does not stay as large as it does when they're in full-blown heat, but it doesn't also go back to its original tiny size. If they're pregnant, that's a pretty surefire sign that you've got uh, a positive pregnancy on a dog. Um, another thing that I noticed with her is that she uh, was off her food. The first three weeks or so, she was uh, very tired because the, the babies are, uh, the embryos are developing, but they're not implanted yet. And they're putting a lot of energy into making that happen. And they can get morning sick, just like a person does. So you may see them being nauseated. Um, this dog is not particularly clingy, but she's been very clingy since she was bred. And so again, that's another sign that she may be pregnant. Um, so she's been almost like depressed, but not really, just very restful. Uh, she's been taking every opportunity to uh, go lay in her bed and just kind of watch what's going on instead of being involved in it. So um, you also can run an ultrasound. Um, you, you don't want to do that uh, earlier than about four weeks after you breed them. Um, the, the babies are about a half inch in diameter at that point, so you can see the entire baby. If you run an ultrasound later than that, you're only going to see parts and pieces. You can also run an x-ray. The, the x-ray is something you want to run in the very last week of maybe a few days before pregnancy. If you're really trying to look at head size versus um, pelvis and see if the dog is going to be capable of pre-whelping um, or to try to get a count. Honestly, in 50 years of doing this, I've rarely ever seen a, an accurate count on an ultrasound or an x-ray because there's just so many variables involved. But what I do want to recommend is that if you are going to run an x-ray, do it after you think your girl is finished whelping because you want to make sure that um, she isn't just resting and still has a puppy inside of her uh, or perhaps has a puppy that hasn't made it. So that's my recommendation. I usually will use my senses and if I think my girl is completely done, I may still go take them in and run an x-ray. And there is such a thing as a whelping pause so you may find that when your girl is whelping, she may take a break. It can be very extended. And as long as she is resting and isn't in distress and isn't pushing, just relax and let her do what she needs to do. Um, I have had a bitch that has taken 17 hours between two puppies and she was very calm and restful between those puppies and she delivered the next one um, alive and doing well. So. Um, we'll, we'll do some more videos on what a whelping pause is, but I just want to mention it here. And um, 
You can, some people with really good skills at this can palpate puppies um, around uh, 40, 50 days along. They feel like a little nodule, but you don't want to go crazy looking for that little nodule. You don't want to be pressing on them hard because they're getting implanted and, um, you know, just use your senses. And if you're not sure, you can buy this uh, pregnancy test from us at the dog breeder store and you'll be able to tell within about 10 minutes, as long as your bitch has, um, is at least 28 days past ovulation, um, you'll be able to tell whether or not she's pregnant. So we are expecting puppies here and we know that because of the pregnancy test and because of all the signs that I just gave to you. So good luck with your puppies and make sure and look for more videos and educational articles at the dog store.